Welcome to the Exploratory. In this video, we'll be taking a look at organizing your requests in Postman and improving your workflows with Postman Collections. Postman Collections assist in organizing requests, examples, and other elements in your workspace while enabling collaboration and automation. These executable API descriptions can also be generated from your API schemas and help link elements like mocks, monitors, and tests to streamline your API development process. Postman collections are a group of saved requests. Every request that you send in Postman appears under the History tab of the sidebar. Currently, you may be used to relying on the History tab in Postman where you run and rerun requests without too much structure or organization. On a small scale, using requests like this may be convenient, but you will quickly find it time consuming to find a particular request in your history. Instead of scrolling through your history section, you can save all of your requests in a group for easier access. Start by creating or navigating to your workspace. Select New at the top of the sidebar and select Collection. You should see a new element appear on the sidebar, which represents our collection. We can give our collection a new name by clicking on the pencil at the top of this window. Additionally, it is very important to fill out the description to document what this collection is about and how to use it. Selecting the More Actions icon and choosing Add Request, we can save a new request to our collection. Existing requests can also be reorganized and dragged into your other collections as your workspace grows. You may also add requests from your history to a collection. Select History in the sidebar and find the request that you wish to save. Select the More Actions icon next to the request and select Save Request. Choose the collection to add the request to and then select Save. So say you aren't sure how to get started from here. Maybe you are looking to pick up some of the basics of working with a RESTful API. That's where collection templates come in to help. Navigate to the collection overview by selecting your collection and then select More Templates. We have a growing list of collection templates to help you get started with various topics including integration and regression testing, RESTful API basics, API documentation, authorization methods, data visualization, conditional workflows, mock data generation, and running collections with data files. Postman's collection templates help with exploring the Postman API platform's capabilities with ease, gaining insights into tried and tested workflows for API development, and it eliminates the need to build or create collections from scratch to expedite development and testing time. If you're looking to just quickly get working with Postman and sending requests, another option is to select Create HTTP Request, build your request, and then select Save to create a collection. In addition to the benefits of documenting and organizing your requests with a collection, collections also allow you to speed up your development and testing workflows. Select the Authorization tab to configure authorization details for all requests in this collection. Each request within your collection will inherit this authorization unless they specify their own. Write pre-request scripts, which will run before each request in your collection is sent to the server. These will always run, even if your requests have their own pre-request scripts already. Similarly, test scripts will run after a response is received. For example, testing to see if all of your requests return a status code 200 and other similar things that you'd want to do across all of your requests. Variables allow you to define values that are shared across all requests in the collection. To help organize things further, you can pin collections to the top of your list by selecting the star icon next to it. Use the collection search bar to also filter through your collections. You can also add subfolders to create extra levels of nesting for your collections requests and examples. Folders have their own set of authorization, pre-request, and test script sections. Reorder your requests, folders, and examples inside of a collection by dragging and dropping them. You can also delete a collection by selecting the More Actions icon next to the collection's name and select Delete. You can also recover a deleted collection by selecting the More Actions icon next to the collection's search bar and opening the trash. Select the Restore icon next to the collection that you wish to recover. Items remain in your trash for up to one day or longer depending on your Postman plan. Now let's talk about some of the more advanced ways that you can use collections in Postman. Postman enables you to create mock servers to assist with API development and testing. 
A mock server simulates the behavior of a real API server by accepting requests and returning responses. By adding a mock server to your collection and adding examples to your requests, you can simulate the behavior of a real API. When you send a request to a mock server, Postman matches the request to a saved example in your collection. Postman then responds with the data that you added to the example. Check out Postman.Joyce's exploratory on mock servers in Postman. Postman monitors give you continuous visibility into the health and performance of your APIs. A collection-based monitor runs a series of requests on the Postman cloud on a schedule that you define. When creating a monitor, you choose a collection with the requests that you want to run. For example, these can be basic requests that indicate whether an endpoint is up and reachable. More complex collections can also make use of change requests, test scripts, and environment variables to validate API responses and functionality. Once the monitor is running, you'll be alerted to any test failures, so you can identify and address the issues before your API's consumers are affected. Check out Postman.Joyce's exploratory on monitoring your APIs in Postman. Documentation is an important part of any collection or API. Good documentation helps the people who use your collection understand what it does and how each request works. Postman automatically generates basic documentation for any collection that you create. View the documentation for details about all of the requests in your collection, along with sample code in various client languages. Request details include the method, authorization type, URL, headers, request and response structures, and examples. In addition, the documentation displays all key value pairs for request parameters, headers, and bodies. To make your documentation even more valuable to people consuming your APIs and working with your collections, add descriptions to the requests and other elements in your collection. Any descriptions you add are automatically included in the documentation for your collection. You can also edit descriptions when viewing the complete documentation for a collection. Select View Complete Collection Documentation at the bottom of the collection overview, and then edit the descriptions as usual. Add descriptions to parameters and headers to help others understand and use the requests in your collection. These descriptions are visible to people who have access to your collection or anyone viewing your published documentation. Your documentation automatically includes the type of authorization required to access your endpoints. These details appear below the collection description and also below each request in your documentation. Any examples you add to a collection are also automatically included in the documentation. For each request, your documentation shows the example code snippets as well as the example response body and headers. Now, without going into too much detail on the API builder, you can also generate a new collection for API documentation by selecting APIs in the sidebar and selecting an API. On the APIs overview, next to collections, select the plus icon and select generate from API definition. Change any settings to customize this new collection and then select generate collection. This new collection displays on your APIs overview and under your API in the sidebar. To view the documentation for the collection, expand the collection and select view full documentation. Similarly, you can also use an existing collection for API documentation by selecting copy existing collection instead and select the collection that you wish to assign. Publishing your documentation makes it publicly available to anyone with the link to the documentation and a web browser. Publish your documentation to help people around the world learn how to use your collection or interact with your public API. Public documentation automatically includes details for each request or endpoint in the published collection, along with sample code in various client languages. As you update your collection, the published documentation automatically stays in sync with your latest changes. That means there's no need to publish the documentation again after making changes. Your public documentation also includes the Run in Postman button so that users can interact with your collection or API directly in Postman. Check out Postman.Joyce's video on building better documentation in Postman for more information and best practices.
You can additionally import and export collections in Postman. Select import in the upper left and then enter the URL or enter raw text for your collection. Additionally, you can upload files or folders or even import from various Git repositories, code repos and other API gateways. To export a collection, select the more actions icon next to the collection and then select export. This JSON file can then be used to run the collection in the Postman CLI, Newman, and your own CI CD pipelines. There are a number of ways that you can share a collection in Postman. Invite others to collaborate by selecting the More Actions icon next to the collection name and selecting Share. Here you can enter names, group names, and email addresses for the people that you wish to share the element with. You can also select whether or not these people will have viewer or editor permissions for the element that you're trying to share. Additionally, you can share by copying a link to the collection and sending it directly. When you share a collection, external users who aren't on your Postman team will receive an invitation to join your team right away if you are a team admin or a super admin. You can allow external users who aren't in your Postman team to view a collection by selecting the More Actions icon next to the collection name, selecting Share, and then turning on the toggle next to Allow Guests with the link to join your team and view collection. This assigns people the guest role at the team level and a limited viewer role at the collection level. Note that this does not consume paid seats. The Run in Postman button can also be used to share collections in a website or README by embedding a small snippet of code. As your team grows and there are more people working on collections in your workspaces, you may find it helpful to watch collections. After selecting the watch icon for a collection, Postman notifies you of when a team member makes changes to the collection. This includes adding a new request, modifying the existing requests, adding or updating variables, editing pre-request scripts or test scripts, and adding or deleting a folder. Postman users on paid plans can additionally view the collection's change log to see what has changed since you last looked at a collection. If you ever need to revert your collection to an earlier state, select the change log icon on the right sidebar. Here you can select a session to expand it and then select the more actions icon next to a change and select restore to this change. This will revert a collection to the point immediately after you had performed this selected change. When working with teams and collaborating with others, it is very important to practice proper version control practices. Being able to fork collections to make a copy of it in your own workspace so that you can develop new collection versions and then submit a pull request where you can merge it back into its parent collection and then also review those pull requests is just one such workflow. Check out Postman.Joyce's level up on version control for collections in Postman. Collections can power various parts of your API development, testing, and publishing workflows. Select Run to access the collection runner. This allows you to run all requests in a collection and build testing workflows into your runs. Among the provided configuration options, you can select the number of iterations for your collection run and optionally include a data file for the run, as well as whether or not to persist responses for a session to review after running. By default, your requests run in the sequence that they are listed in the collection. If you need to change this order, select and drag a request to its new location in the order. Additionally, you can also remove an individual request from the run by clearing the checkbox next to its name. You can also alter the flow of execution from your request scripts by using set next request to create workflows. The collection runner logs your request test results and can use scripts to pass data between requests and alter the request workflow. When running collections manually, Postman displays the results of your request executions and tests results in real time. To learn more about what happened during a collection run, you can also view the details about each individual request and its headers and body. In addition to running collections manually, the collection runner enables you to schedule collections to run automatically at specified times in the Postman cloud. You can also use collection runs in conjunction with other Postman utilities to build automations into your API projects.
The scheduled runs tab shows all of the scheduled runs for the current collection. This includes the upcoming run scheduled time, the name of the scheduled run, and the environment associated with the scheduled run. You can view the scheduled run's latest results as well as pause, resume, edit, and delete scheduled runs from this page. If you are running the desktop version of Postman, you can also export the results of a collection run to share it with your team. Open the collection run in the runner and select export results at the top right to download the run. The Postman CLI and Newman both allow you to manually run and test your collections both locally or in the Postman cloud. These tools help you automate collection runs on your continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines. Check out Postman on Joyce's exploratory on this topic. Postman Live Collections enable you to keep your collections up to date based on the usage of your application. By observing your application, the Postman SDK automatically updates your live collections. Live collections help improve collaboration by ensuring that everyone stays up to date on the latest changes and improvements to your APIs. It helps promote better testing by allowing developers and testers to easily test your API in a real environment. This can help identify issues and bugs before they are deployed to production. Postman Live Collections can streamline the development process by enabling developers to quickly and easily set up their collection and maintain it. This can help automate the manual process of creating and updating collections, which sometimes results in an incomplete collection. They can also automatically generate documentation for your APIs. This documentation is updated in real time, making it easier for developers to understand and use your API. And that's it for this video. I know that we cover it a lot, but that's just the beginning of how powerful collections can be if properly used. Check out the links in the description below for other related videos such as mocks, monitoring, documentation, and more, as well as links to the Learning Center to learn more about collections. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and maybe what else you'd like to see covered. Thanks so much for watching.